Hello YouTube family. Before we start this next video, uh, we're almost at 160 subscribers. And I just want to take a moment out to say thank you for everyone who subscribed, our new subscribers, and our old subscribers we had before we really knew what we were doing here and this and that. And we still don't know everything about YouTube, but we're learning and we're learning together. Uh, I know that everybody doesn't get something out of every video, but the one person who does get something out of almost every video is your boy. I've learned so much. And with that being said, this next video is no exception. Welcome to another episode, episode of This and That. Yes, it is your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. Allow me to introduce you to my little friend. I met my friend, uh, Technician 775, better known as Steve, but maybe they all better known as 775. I'm at his house, I'm picking up my pit smoker. And I'm, as I'm leaving, he says, uh, Rosie, you know there's a way, a better way that we've been doing to start our charcoal. I'm like, give it up. He tells me to go to Walmart, pick up this single lie Coleman butane stove. And that will get our charcoal started better. We simply take a charcoal starter. I got a few briquettes in there. We sit it on top. Now, this thing is simple to operate. There's a little notch on top of the can, and these cans are about two bucks a piece at uh, Walmart, at, uh, yes, at Walmart. That little notch, it goes at the top. There's a little lever here, as you can see. That goes at 12 o'clock, and you insert it into the little hole there inside. Bear with it. It's not that difficult. I just make it look that way. I'm good like that. Now, oh, a word of caution. That can will not go in if this is on the, in the on position. So make sure that your igniter is in the off position. You put the can in. Now, if you'll notice this slider, now watch the can. When you slide that down, the can slides forward. That engages the can. Now, Close your lid. Turn on the igniter. Boom. We have ignition. Then if you're using this to start your charcoal, you simply put this on top of the fire. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a flame coming out of there right now. You're going to leave that on there about five or ten minutes. It's going to get your charcoal nice and hot. You pull this off. Turn your flame off, disengage your can, but you do not have to take it out. You can leave it in there if you choose to. Not if you don't feel safe doing that, you can pull it out. And that is simply, that's all there is to this thing. Boom. Now, I have learned a ton of stuff since I've been doing these YouTube videos. I know, like I said in the intro, I know some of you have picked things up here and there. When I'm doing these videos, you may find one video you like and five you don't like. But the one person who has learned something from almost every video I've done is me. And I love what we're doing here at This and That. This is a $20 purchase, $2.25 for each butane fuel can. And I didn't even know this thing existed. We can use this now for hurricane evaluation. You can use it when you're camping. Uh, I'm a jeeper. I've always considered taking my hot logic with me, which is my portable oven that plugs into my uh, my uh, little power supply in my Jeep. But I don't have to do that now. I can take this. You can put this in your backpack. I can actually keep it stored in my Jeep underneath the seat in the little compartment in the back. And if me and my wife decide to go camping for a night, we don't do the four-wheeling, but we do want to do the camping at some point. We can take this thing with us. I can get up the next morning, cook some eggs and bacon or some ham. Or for lunch, we can cook some pork chops or whatever the case may be. This is a find. Uh, my hat's off once again to Technician 775. He's introduced me to something I had no idea that existed. Now I can start my fires, my charcoal, trouble-free. Uh, I can cook something. Matter of fact, when this video is over, I'm probably going to go get myself a frying pan and a couple of eggs just to test this thing out and see how fast I can fry up two eggs. 
Matter of fact, why don't we do that before we close this thing out? Good there. All right, family, I'm back. We got a little oil, a little pepper, a little salt, two eggs, and a frying pan. So let's see what we're working with. So remember, we got that engaged. Hit the burner, boom, we're up and running. Frying pan in place. Get that with a little oil. Let's see how long it takes to get that up to temperature. The only thing I don't know about this, and I don't know if I mentioned it in the video or not, I don't know how long, let me get this can away from there too. I don't know how long one of these cans last. So we'll have to play with that and test. And uh, I'm sure maybe I can find it online. But if I do, uh, we'll come back and we'll do another video. And I'll let you know how long that lasts. But I got a feeling this, that those little cans will last for four or five hours. Like I said, we, we'll put an hour value on it and we'll see how long it lasts. That oil is almost ready. This has been about 30, 45 seconds I've been talking, and it's almost ready. You can hear that? Hear it crackling? She's ready. Oh, another thing I learned, you cannot turn this down the halfway, I don't think. If you turn it down, I think it goes out. So she'll turn it down a little bit. Let's see if it holds there. There's a minimum right here. So I, I don't think you can put it past that minimum. If you can see that, anything past that minimum, I think it's going to go out. But you can turn that fire down just slightly. All right, let's see what we're working with. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh. And I think I'm going to prefer this over my stove in the house. And I love this battery operated pepper cracker. It cracked the pepper a little large. It's not quite fine enough. But I'm sure there's a setting on there somewhere maybe I don't know about. But I like this thing. So I'm not going to make y'all sit around and watch me fry an egg. But I did want to share that with y'all. Woo! You got to be careful. That thing cooks fast and hot. Look at that, that egg's already brown. And that's been maybe a minute. Bam, she's ready. She is ready. Off with you. And we're good to go. There you go, fam. That was probably less than a minute. Look at that, beautiful. My goodness. I'm impressed. So, here at this and that, we gotta get this baby two thumbs up. And speaking of thumbs up, if you like what we're doing here at this and that, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like what we're doing, give us a thumbs down. And in the comment section, a brief reason why, be kind. And if you like what we're doing here at this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the old bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. Y'all take care. Have a great day, a great week, a great month. It's your boy Rosie. Peace.